There's a company called Summit Precision that uh, makes carbon fiber rifle barrels, uh, predominantly what appears to be for the 1022. Uh, but they made a limited run of uh, these 1022 takedown barrels and I happened to snag one. So uh, threw it together in a Hogue stock, it's relatively lightweight. Uh, kind of a quasi-budget scope, the uh, Burris RT6. Not a bad scope, but uh, certainly budget-priced. And uh, so let's throw it together and see how it shoots. The uh, barrel goes together just like any other 1022. Slides in, lock in place, and we're all set. This case... Uh, I'm running the uh, Burris low power variable optic. It's a uh, one to six. This is the RT6. It's fine for what this rifle is going to be doing. Uh, maybe I'll shoot steel challenge with it. Uh, otherwise, just be sort of a general purpose rifle. I do like the takedown feature. I literally fit it in a backpack, jump on a motorcycle, and uh, can ride to the range. Nobody knows that I'm carrying a rifle. So that's pretty convenient. Uh, one of the things I noticed with the summit barrel is that the chamber is pretty tight uh, it's good for accuracy but uh, I did notice that uh, some match ammunition didn't cycle the way I'd want it to um, maybe it's just dirty and I need to clean it I do have a few rounds through it so that's certainly a possibility but uh, we'll be shooting the budget uh, Aguila uh, this afternoon and we'll see how that goes even with the budget ammunition uh, I Finding I'm getting at least uh, like one and a half MOA, maybe slightly better. All right, we're about uh, 55 yards up range. We will take some offhand shots as God and Ruger intended it. Wow, uh, let's go downrange and take a look, but looking through the scope, that's actually uh, pretty accurate 50 yard offhand group, for me at least. Let's take a look. Uh, wow, okay, so this is, including the two flyers, we're looking at right around it, about a two and a half inch group that's offhand at 50 yards. Uh, and I did not pussyfoot around with that shock group, right? It was uh, not a blistering pace, but I didn't wait for the sight to fully settle. Uh, but the three shots that I called as good all landed well within an inch. Uh, I had called this one, and this one was a trigger press. Uh, so that's actually a pretty accurate barrel, uh, or pretty accurate setup shooting offhand.